in the NBA, you have so much downtime, man. You know, part of your job is really staying out of trouble. Downhill mountain biking is a serious sport. You know, there's people that compete at a high level. Coming out here, facing that fear of being out here alone. Now I'm here, I'm comfortable. I come here a lot, and um, it's like my getaway, and I have fun. What's up, loved ones? It's Kelly Ubrey Jr. here, professional basketball player. Come check out my day off. North Carolina just has beautiful scenery. Look right behind you. You know, when you're outside of nature, man, anything can happen. So, you know, I've been out here two years. I come here a lot, actually, and, um, you know, I just kind of get outside away from everything. I'm out here by myself a lot, pretty much enjoying that, that blissfulness, that peace and quiet, and getting lost in nature. Today, I'm just going to kind of, I'm just happy to be back out here. I haven't been out here in a week. Biking is a workout. I use it to get my cardio in. I used to get my legs stronger, my core stronger, and to pretty much be in a zen state. That's my day off now. It's just probably doing one thing with my family and then trying to find some time to fill my cup up too. You have to be locked in. It's, uh, you have to really be engaged mentally, physically, and pretty much spiritually because you're going downhill and you know there, there are obstacles on the line towards you have to either jump over, you have to time them, calculate them. And I've always had a bike, I've always had a skateboard. I've always been a rocket power kid who just loves to do like, I guess, our stuff. He kind of messed my little flow up, but it's all good. We're welcome to the wilderness, so. They have uh, single track trails where you can follow the lines. They have uh, dope jumping trails where, you know, that's kind of what my bike specialized in. It's more fun because I, I have to focus more. I have to engage more muscles and it's, it's more of a workout, but it's also, you know, it's more challenging. The black one, matte black, purple handlebars, it's my bod. That's the suspension, the travel. Oh, the suspension really helps out with this bike because it's super plush, man. And you can even lock it out in case you're going to a pump track or something. So it's super dope. And if, you know, you're going to do, I guess, some hard, really hardcore riding, you know, you lock the suspension to where it's like, you have no travel. I went to a pump track one time and, you know, I took this bad boy and I had to lock out the suspension. I didn't know I learned something new, but good cardio workout. This is what I go to. Man, I'm 6'6", six, six, so, I needed like the biggest size that they sold and fully electric bike. You just have to charge it, of course. So you have three modes. You have eco mode, trail, right? If you're going down the trails and you're not trying to hit high speeds, you hit trail. And the turbo, which is my favorite. The bikers might know what I'm talking about. You know, you guys got to, you know, ride my bike with me, but I also love fashion too. So, you know, y'all come shop with me at this thrift store and, you know, I'll take y'all through my day off. On a typical off day, I would get into a city and, you know, make some plans like as soon as I touch down, you know, and a lot of times I was going to the consignment stores, going to thrift stores and, you know, not going back to the hotel until it was time to go to sleep. This is what I wear on an off day. My aesthetic now is like IDGAF grunge. It's all about the symbolism of the T's, you know, I, I support peace, music, you feel me? I'm from New Orleans, so, you know, I've, I grew up watching, you know, people kind of wear like the crazy boots, the hats, like the suits and stuff. And I didn't really have money to go buy a designer and stuff. So I had to like kind of figure out how I could look good and still, you know, not spend like hella money. So I used to go to the thrift store. You ain't got to have a stylist or wear designer clothes to have styles. So. Ooh, they're going crazy with this one, babe. Rage your dad vibes. <laughs> so if I pick out a shirt? I will wear it. Really? Yeah. That's a first. This must be a special day. I mean, I got a camera in front of me. <laughs> I don't ever have any expectations coming through a thrift store. Um, I learned that through experience. I just try to keep it smooth. Just wear, wear, wear what makes me feel good, not whatever everybody else is wearing. Just gotta come in here with an open mind and just like let, let the store shop you, you know? As of this year in my life, I've been playing basketball for 20 years. Training is training. Obviously on the team, on an inside environment, you know, you have to flow with the next guy. Y'all have to work together in a tandem to succeed. If I'm gonna do something, I just went all in. Now, I'm not just going out there with no, no destination and you know, going just to do things, to do things. And you know, you don't come in here and just go balls to the wall. You start sprinting and you know, now you have to kind of just take it slow, fill it out and get away from, you know, what the norm is. Getting out here, man, being able to just mentally be free. You can't think about much when you're riding because you have to be in the moment. I was, I was outside a lot as a kid and, you know, I just, I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful to reconnect with that nature and just kind of be a kid again outside. And I get to just breathe and just kind of really just let the nature speak to me, which I know is God talking, you know, and kind of just recharging my, my, my inner self and 
kind of let the air and the sun and the elements kind of take over, man, you'll feel so much better. So um, I think everybody should be outside more. It teaches you a lot. It teaches you how to like face fear head on. Um, it teaches you discipline. You know, it teaches you like discipline when you're fatigued and when you're fighting. Your, your emotions are super high and it's easy to lose yourself and you can't be effective obviously with your strength. So it teaches you like to when to go hard, when to relax and when to, you know, breathe extra hard when you're tired to make sure that you can continue to go smoothly and you don't get hurt. So it teaches you a lot of things mentally, right? It's more mental than physical. You know, it teaches you pretty much to just go out there, man, you know, whatever, let whatever happen, happen and, um, you know, flow. Thank you guys for checking out my day off. Please like and subscribe for more, but I'm not done shopping, so I'm gonna keep looking around.